What's going on guys? No, no, just checking in with a rare video on depersonalization, derealization disorder. I'm gonna tackle this question that I get a lot while driving, but I will do my darndest to keep my eyes on the road and be safe. I drive a fully automatic car. I always feel like I have to like qualify that because I get quite a bit of negative comments on the topic of driving and filming, probably rightly so. But anyway, I digress. It doesn't matter for this video, but feel free to share your thoughts on that. I respect your thoughts. I'm just gonna do it anyway. Um, a question I still get about depersonalization and derealization is whether or not I feel it affects me. Do I still suffer from depersonalization and derealization to the uninformed? Uh, to explain it very, very, very basically, DPDR is just the sense that you're in a dreamlike state, constantly. A detachment from your reality, a way I, I try to explain it to people who've never experienced it, I tell them it's like being uh, up for a few days and living only on caffeine mixed with a Per permanent hangover or something like that. Now, of course, it's not exactly like that, but it's a relatively fair um, way to try to describe it to someone. And and I would say very, you know, gratefully and humbly, no, I don't think I suffer from depersonalization, derealization any longer. When I did suffer from it for a couple of years back in the day and then in stretches as my mood problems would relapse, it was very obvious to me. I mean, I, I thought I was going crazy. I thought I was losing my mind. Maybe I'm psychotic. I didn't know what to make of it. I, I didn't even recognize my own hand. It was very obvious is what I'm trying to say. There was no like wondering if, if this was what it was once I learned about depersonalization, derealization. Something I always recommend people do is check out the movie Numb starring Matthew Perry. The director suffered greatly from depersonalization, derealization. As far as I know, it's like the only video you can find that's like a formally made high budget film on the condition. Ow! My arm is dying. So, yeah, I'm really pleased to say I don't suffer from DPDR any longer. Now, what I do think I still suffer from is brain fog. I think I still go through brain fog. I'm at a red light. I think I still experience depression as it relapses, anxiety, sure. Anxiety and DP are often comorbid, so my anxiety is worse sometimes. A sense of attach detachment can come up over me, but I'd say it's more brain fog uh, and just feelings of apathy and sadness as opposed to like that really scary, detached, dreamlike state that I was once in. So I hope to some people you can take solace in this because if you look back at my old videos, I mean, it, I was deeply in the grips of dissociation and derealization. Look, it's horrible, right? It's, it's, you know, if you haven't been through it, you could never possibly imagine how hor it's painful to be alive. That's, that's what I used to say to my parents, you know, because I had to move back in with my folks and I eventually got hospitalized because I was so bad. I mean, every minute being awake hurts. It's painful. You just feel like your soul is on fire. You just feel so horrible and, and you feel numb. I mean, it's, uh, it's the most frightening experience ever to not have any feelings. You just, you go outside, you don't feel anything. You don't know what's going on. You don't feel a part of anything. You, you feel outside of yourself. And it was one of those things that pushed me closer to the edge of, of letting go in terms of taking my own life uh, because I was just so fearful and it just seemed so impossible the way I was feeling. And so here I am today, uh, removed years later from the severity of my mood disorder. I'm very pleased to say that it's not something that ails me and grips me anymore. So check out that movie Numb. Uh, if you're still suffering, stay brave, understand that time takes time and your potential remedy could be just around the corner. Control the things you can and don't be afraid to continue to try new things. Meet with new providers, uh, meet with new people. Learn from people who have been through what you're going through. Just don't give up five minutes before the miracle. And, um, and yeah, and just know that this sufferer seems to have closed that chapter on his life. But I don't take it for granted and I don't assume anything. But for today, that's my answer. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm sorry I don't make a lot of videos on DPDR anymore. And I know there's still some people on this channel that might appreciate that. So should probably dig into that topic more often for you guys but just know that you are of value to me one day one hour one minute at a time you can get through what you're going through and uh and we'll see you guys in the next video peace